Okay, folks, here's PA Biodiesel bringing you the third video of eight. We're going to insulate a drum. Uh, we already have our bung holes in, two of them, and our drum heater on. Now, you can either go to Lowe's and buy the silver stuff, which will look really pretty as an insulating factor of crap and cost you about $45, or you can go to Home Depot and buy a packet of R19 insulation for less than $20. Uh, the pieces are six and a half inch thick, uh, 15 inches wide, and they're 93 inches long. We cut three of them down to 83 inches, and then we cut one to a width of three inches. We're going to wrap a full sheet, then we're going to use the three inch, and then another full sheet, and that will take us from the bottom all the way to the top. And then we're going to wrap the drum with shrink wrap. And you really don't have to go out and buy shrink wrap. You can just steal it off your wife. The stuff she wraps your sandwiches with will work fine. Just using tape to hold it in place until we shrink wrap it. I use the three inch piece next because it's just easier putting the full piece on top. Putting that up there to weigh down the drum while I pull the shrink wrap, wrap around it. drum band heater control
works better if you have two people. And the shrink wrap, more than anything, just makes it so when you spill the oil down the side, it doesn't really mess things up. Things. And basically all you have to do is make it so you can get your thread through, your pipe thread it through there, right there, and here would be the second one. Access to your two fittings, then you have the control for your drum. Like I said, that drum now has an insulating factor of R19. I can heat that up to 140 when it's 40 degrees out in my garage. Come tomorrow morning, it'll be 110 degrees. I don't think you can beat it. Thank you.